Hi, this is Simon from Lincolnshire in the UK, and you're watching Trucker Josh. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. We've been here at Lancaster Flying J now all weekend. Most of it, anyways. We have our reset in our logbooks and we're ready to go deliver our freight. So let's do it. Oh, Diesel, you drank all your water. Did you drink all your water? He's a thirsty weasel. Man. I have to buy more water. My dog's spoiled. He only gets bottled water. Hey, get some in there for you. There you go. Before we start moving, good boy. Put some in me too. Okay. Ready to rock. Hydrated. So we're uh, Lancaster, Ontario, close to the Quebec border in Canada, along the 401. So we're gonna get back on the highway, head back into Quebec. We're gonna have some fun. We have to deliver those packers that I have on my trailer. You remember those? I still have them on my trailer. So those two packers are being delivered to some kind of port or something in uh, Montreal. They're going to Nunavut. And then after that, I don't know what we're doing yet. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But they're not going to deliver themselves. I wouldn't want them to because then I wouldn't have a job to do. Just got to wait for Lightning McQueen to get past us here. I'm not gonna go out the entrance. But I would if I had to, just saying. I make my own rules sometimes. Not today though. Today we're gonna go out the exit. We just gotta go through the pumps. The only reason I go out the entrance here is if all these pumps were used up and blocked, then I'd have to go out the entrance because I wouldn't be able to get to that. I guess I could go through the scale if no one's in there. I gotta get through here and go to the driveway to the left. There we go. Look at that, worked perfectly and I used the proper exit. Continue 140 meters, then turn left onto, turn left onto. Onto what? Oh, on number two, I see. It always feels so good to get rolling again after having to sit for a reset. There they are, just off to the right. Just gotta back out of here and go inside and get my paperwork. So those are going onto a boat. And the boat's taking them all the way to Nunavut. Interesting, because Nunavut is closer to Manitoba, but there's no roads leading to Nunavut from Manitoba very undeveloped up there. There's only, like I said the other day, only like 15,000 people that live there. So it's very hard to get up there. I guess going by boat from Quebec is the fastest, easiest way. It's definitely not the most cost effective. It'd be a lot cheaper if they had a road, but then they'd have to pay to build the road. Almost here, it's a little bit further, and I'm just gonna pull into this parking area and then go inside and grab the papers. And I still don't have a reload, I'm waiting for a message. Oh, here we go. Gotta go into that brownish building up there. So cool the way they load these ships. Behind me, I can't really show you because I can't show you with the camera right now. Well, maybe. Maybe you can see it from here. One second. You see that ship over there? Right there? It's got a flag of the Netherlands flying off the back of it. That thing goes across the ocean. That is so cool. And we're off to the races, chasing down our next load. We have a reload in Ottawa, a little over an hour from here. 
I don't got all the details on it yet. They're gonna send it to me after lunch, apparently, which should be in, in about now, a half an hour to an hour, I guess. But they told me to head to Ottawa. It's a load that's taking me to Brandon, Manitoba. So it's Monday today. I'm hoping I can get reloaded today yet, not in the morning. And if I can get reloaded today yet, I can get a little ways down the road. And that means it's Monday when I'm filming this. This means I'll be in Brandon Wednesday night, unloading Thursday morning. 24 kilometers on 401. Or Thursday afternoon. I think it would take me two days, two and a half days to get there, something like that. Unload Thursday, maybe I can go home for Thursday, Friday, leave on Saturday, deliver somewhere Monday. And I guess we'll find out. For now, we just gotta go on. I don't even know what it is yet. It could be machinery, it could be. It's probably not lumber, not out of Ottawa. Lumber is something more that you pick up in the West. And he asked, if, like, he, he asked to confirm if I had the triaxle, which sort of makes me suspicious. It's probably going to be a really heavy load. Why would you ask if I had a triaxle before giving me a load, unless if it's a load that needs a triaxle, right? I don't know. Maybe he was just curious. I don't know. Only one way to find out. The load's not going to pick itself up. It's not going to strap itself down. Which again, like I said earlier, I'm glad it doesn't do that because then I wouldn't have a job. The place I delivered to in Quebec there is uh, was pretty close to the Lancaster Flying J. So I just went back to that Flying J after I delivered and waited. I was there about two and a half hours when they had a reload for me. And now we're headed back. What is this, south or is it... West, we're headed down the 401 from Quebec towards Toronto. I don't know, it goes sort of like a diagonal, diagonal, di diagonal, diagonal. It was like a diagonal. What was I saying? It goes towards Toronto. You know where I am. We're going to go up here to Highway 138 and that'll take us up towards Ottawa. And here we are in Ottawa. waiting again hurry up and wait it's the name of the game right we're waiting for information on where I need to pick this load up what it's going to be when I need to pick it up and where it's going and when I need to be there we're pretty much waiting on everything so we just moved our waiting game from Lancaster to Ottawa marching orders are in I just got a little blip here on my computer this is a whole new system remember so Almost didn't recognize what she was trying to tell me until she voiced her intentions of giving me a new message. Pretty much it went blip. You have a new message. It sort of made me feel good. I was like, wow, thank you. I haven't named her yet. I, I gotta come up with a good name. I like her way better. I was telling you the other day, I like her way better than Mandy because Mandy talks too much. She doesn't, this, this girl doesn't talk as much. Uh, Picking up some steel here, going to Brandon, Manitoba. It's gonna be 60,000 pounds. That's why they wanted to know if I had a Tritum. 60,000 pounds of steel. So that should be fun. I gotta pick it up tomorrow, not today, uh, and then deliver it on Friday. So I'll be picking it up on a Tuesday. That should give me enough time, yeah. Let's see how far it's going to be. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? My cellular device. Let's see how far it's going to be. I think it's two and a half days from here. Let's see, how far is Brandon from here? It's probably going to try to route me through the U.S. Brandon, Manitoba. Yes, directions from my location. Where else? Oh, that routed me through Canada. Okay, so it's 2,370 kilometers this trip. Let's quickly do some math here. Divided by 1.61, 1,472 miles. Cool, and it's steel, and it's tritum load, so it should have some very pretty numbers attached to it. I like pretty numbers. Make me feel good, especially on payday. Okay, so that's that. I guess I should uh, figure out where this pickup is and see if I'm close enough to it or if I can move closer yet. Because it's only 4.15pm 
and I won't be picking it up till tomorrow. I, I should call them, see when they open. Probably around like 8 a.m. or something. Lots of waiting, but like I said, pretty sure this one will have some really pretty numbers. Beautiful numbers, gorgeous numbers. I like numbers. I like lots of numbers with lots of zeros behind them. The more the better. Well, we may as well not let this beautiful even go to waste. We're gonna figure out where this sidewalk goes. I have no idea. I'm just following it. Oh, it looks like it just goes around back over there by the bus stop. Okay. Well, I want to get back into the routine of going for a walk every day. We went yesterday and we went today again. This summer, I want to focus on getting my weight down to where I want it to be. And then in the winter time, when I can't go for walks like this, I'll focus more on the gym. So I haven't quite decided yet if uh, I'll keep my gym membership through the summer or not. I'd like to, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to focus more on these walks, like I said. And uh, if I do cancel it, I'll definitely get it back for next winter. So that by that time I should be at the weight I want to be at and I can focus on getting stronger but I don't know maybe I'll just get a few weights for in the truck throughout the summer because this is summertime diesel let's wait for these cars come on let's wait for these cars it's summertime and I want to enjoy the outdoors while I can I'm Canadian so I only have a limited a number of uh, months when I can do this May as well take advantage of it. Diesel, what do you think? You want to spend more time walking this summer? Because we can't do that walking in the wintertime. Minus 50 is too cold, man. In wintertime, we'll focus on the gym. I, I think I like that idea. Everything's getting green. I love it. Isn't summertime fun, Diesel? cool look at this diesel look at that big old steam engine these things are huge eh that is awesome probably got signs that we're not allowed to climb on it or go in it i'd love to go in it and see what's in there they don't have a lock on the door as far as i can see do not climb shucks look how big these wheels are eh look at this eh look how big these things are I'm five foot ten. This wheel is taller than me. Wow. It's huge. You never realize how big these things are until you get right up close to them. That's amazing. Can you imagine how much of a like an advanced breakthrough this was when the first person invented this? And how awesome this would have been to see rolling down the tracks. Like this is how everyone got around when we first settled and pioneered, especially the west where I'm from, uh, around uh, Winnipeg and on the prairies. This was the only mode of transportation for a long time to any other civilization aside from rivers. Everybody went everywhere by train. Just like this. Isn't that cool? Hey, Diesel. My ancestors who came into Canada probably would have been behind an engine been pulled behind an engine something like this all the way inland where they settled in southeast Manitoba they did come up the river from Fargo but uh, they came over from Europe and landed in uh, uh, Quebec City 
down to St. Lawrence, and then they took a train, probably something like this, all the way down to the Toronto area, where they boarded another ship, which took them through the Great Lakes to Duluth, Minnesota. And then from there, they probably took another train like this over to Fargo, where they took the river up by steamboat to Southeast Manitoba, because the railways hadn't even been built yet. So the river was the only way of getting up there at that time. These things are awesome. Man, just the front wheel is like past my hip. Wow. <laughs> I never knew they were this big. I wish I could go inside. For its time, man, this was a huge feat of engineering. This one says Canadian National Railways. So that would be those, uh, those red and black and white CN trains you see nowadays. Same company. They go into the States quite often too. So you Americans might see the CN trains on the tracks down there as well. They've uh, improved a little bit, <laughs> but they're probably both the same size now. They just run on diesel instead of steam. Just found this uh, in a park. I don't even know what this park is called. Just in Ottawa. This is on the uh, the east side of Ottawa. There's a big building for you locals. That's a landmark, I guess. New big building says Canada Science and Technology Museums Corporation. I guess that's a new museum coming up there or something. That would make sense why they would have a steam engine here. There's a museum right there being built. I think that's what that is anyways. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I wonder what that's for. Well, what it was used for at one point. Cool. So that steam engine is back there now. Here's that building being built that I think is a museum. And there's some kind of cool screen over there I want to go take a look at. Can you see it? Let's go get a little closer. Oh, I see. This is a new addition by the looks of it. No, it's a separate building. It's not connected there, but this here, that sign there, says Canada Science and Technology Museum. Oh, there's audio too. Whoa. Diesel, look. What is that? <laughs> it's the biggest TV you've ever seen. <laughs> look at him. The audio is coming out of here somewhere. Whoa. Wow. I'm gonna have to put this on the wide angle so you can see it better. One sec. Wow. Now that's an entryway. What do you think of that, Diesel? I sort of just want to sit here and watch the show for a bit, eh? <laughs> wow. Super cool. Well, if you guys want to see more of it, you're going to have to come to Ottawa and see it yourself. I can't stand here all night and show it to you. It's the Canada Science and Technology Museum. This would be really cool to come visit. Oh, they turned it off. Oh, wait, nope, back. Now we're underwater. <laughs> cool. Well, Diesel, we need to start getting back. Sun's going down and the mosquitoes are coming out. It's that season again, man. They've also got a random lighthouse over there for some reason. No water in sight, but we have a lighthouse. <laughs> so this is Ottawa. This is our nation's capital. If you've watched my videos, I've been here before and told you that before. Sort of like our uh, Washington DC, maybe. 
just realizing that uh, I'm within a brick's throw of Prime Minister Fancy Socks. Could deliver a nice little message from Western Canada. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't throw a brick at him. That's mean. I wouldn't do that. I might throw a rubber chicken at him though. <laughs> That's not very nice, man. Don't throw things at people, even if you don't like them. Oh, I really don't like him, man. I can't even throw a rubber chicken at him? No, that's not nice. It's not nice, man. I actually shouldn't even be joking about throwing things at politicians. Especially with all the milkshakes that are being thrown around in the UK right now. Just because you disagree with them doesn't give you the right to throw things at them. Yeah, man. It's not nice. Not nice. Even rubber chickens. Not nice, man. No throwing stuff. What do you got? You got something in your mouth, Diesel? You all right? What do you got in your mouth? You got water? <laughs> We're back in our truck. Got the window vents on. Trying to get some fresh air in here. We're parked at the Petro Pass here on the east side of Ottawa. And that's it for today. I'm gonna end it there. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to go pick up a load of steel and we're taking that all the way to Brandon. So we got to tarp it, we'll tie it down, tarp it, and then start making our way west. Should be fun. Hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell beside the subscribe button too so you don't miss it.